Hey everybody. My name is Jay Flats. Hi Jay. Oh, some of you have been to meetings before. I see what I'm dealing with. And I'm over the hill. I'm over the hill. I read the poster for this. If you're over 30, you're currently over the hill. Who is also over the hill in the room right now? I had no idea that I was way over the hill. I just hit a milestone. I just turned 45 this year. And I've lived in Los Angeles for 22 and a half years, which means I've lived half of my adult life in this city. Which is perfect timing for a midlife crisis, everybody. You ready for it? You want to witness it right in front of you? I brought my Gavin Newsom hair. Let's fucking do this. Let's go. <laughs> I recently had a, a midlife crisis because I asked a younger lady at work if she wanted to grab a drink and she said, aren't you like 45? <laughs> no one's ever guessed my age. I thought I was still 18 to look younger. Let's do this, Hollywood. <laughs> no, her full response was, aren't you like 45? I think my dad's 45. <laughs> so on the second date, I was like, you're grounded. <laughs> You go to my room, you get in there and think about what you did wrong. Don't you touch the Xbox, Red Dead Redemption 2 is on pause. That was just for the nerds in the room. But I've been here 20 years, 22 years in Hollywood, and uh, I've, I've managed to thrive and survive. And uh, ladies, I don't send dirty photos, I send a picture of my credit score. <laughs> That's exactly what I got on my SATs, 820, let's do this. <laughs> but one thing I love about Hollywood and one thing I love about doing comedy is I like talking about vintage stuff, old school stuff. I like to find people with the same interests as me. I like to consider myself as an old school guy because I was born before 1985. Where are the other old school people in the room? Where are you? Are you here tonight? These are my people. Millennials, I know how to text and tweet and follow and repost and tag and share and subscribe, but the old school people, that's who I like. I like the old school people. If you're old school like me and you had a pager in high school, raise your hand. Who had a pager? Drug dealer, drug dealer, drug dealer. She <laughs> just gave me the piece. Yes, absolutely. What, what can we get? What can we get? What can we get? Yeah, if you had a pager in high school, you're either a drug dealer or the coolest person in your friend group. Because if you had a pager, you could send the original DM to a girl. You could send, I love you, just using three numbers. Do you remember the numbers? You could page somebody. One, four, three. That's the OG slide into a DM. You could send somebody. Actually, you know what? The original DM was called the mixtape. <laughs> guys, how many of you made a mixtape for a girl? Huh, guys? Ladies, how many of you had to accept an awkward mixtape from some dude? Right? Oh, uh, hey, these are songs that I thought you would like. And, uh, uh, you know, they were uh, remind me of you. And I, um, apparently I like, sound like Greg from Succession right now. Just listen to it. <laughs> or if you were a gangster, you made a mixed CD with some shit you stole off Napster and LimeWire. Because you're a gangster, right? I got some play in high school with my mixed CDs, because every one of my mixed CDs had the same song in the beginning. And if I ever fall in love so true, I will be sure that the ladies are <laughs> The white people are like, is it friends? Is it you? How do we do that? <laughs> How many people paid a late fee at Blockbuster Video at some point in their lives? Lazy! 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 You killed Blockbuster, not Netflix! All you had to do was return that VHS copy of American Psycho! That's all you had to do! You had to return some videotapes. <laughs> But no, you kept The Little Mermaid on DVD, didn't you? How many of you still have something for Blockbuster? You didn't turn it in. You're guilty. You're guilty. <laughs> Who died of dysentery? Yeah. While playing Oregon Trail on a green computer screen. 
right? You had to kill thousands of pounds of meat and cross the state river, but you couldn't do it. You died of dysentery. And you didn't even know what it was. And if you're like me, you couldn't play organ show. You kept getting distracted by epic episodes of Blossom. My favorite TV show, Blossom. Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed. Back then, they used to make up words to throw into TV theme songs. And in my opinion, nation, the sun is gonna show nation. Shoot him up and out. <laughs> Who's ever run out of flash cubes for their 110 camera? Who yelled at a friend? You didn't print doubles. You didn't print doubles. I'm Generation Punch Buggy. Remember, you used to be able to just hit your friends because a fucking BW drove by? Remember that? You just hit them. Pip diddle, one headlight. One headlight. You ever yell at a sibling? Get off the phone, I can hear you breathing on the other line. <laughs> you ever call the operator and you heard them churning pages? <laughs> You ever call somebody back and they're like, why'd you call me? Dude, you called me, I just star 69'd you. Right? How many of you played the original Atari video game system? The original Atari, your old as fuck. Your old AF, that's what the kids call you. Always fresh, is that what that means? <laughs> Who played the original Nintendo? Probably more of us, right? Mike Tyson's punch out. How many of you cheated at Duck Hunt? You put the gun right up to the screen. Cheaters. Cheaters. I learned how to cheat in second grade. Not on a test, not on a girlfriend. I learned how to cheat playing a game called Heads Down, Thumbs Up, Time to Play. Seven up. Seven up, that's right. Who else cheated? How did you do it? You looked at the shoes. You looked at the shoes. See, kids will never know what it's like to be tough yeah. nowadays. You can't blame the parents, I blame the playgrounds. Have you seen a playground recently? Don't go by yourself, they look at you fucking weird. They're like, who's this creeper by himself looking at the playground? But everything is safe! It's plastic, it's recycled, it's rubber, the, the ground is bouncy. What were your playgrounds like, old school people? Made of what? Asphalt. Metal and asphalt. Reinforced steel. And when asphalt was like too tough, they were like, what else we got? Wood chips? Let's do wood chips. You guys got wood chips? Let's put wood chips down. You ever burn the back of your legs on a slide because it sat in the sun and baked all day long? You ever play that game, dangerous game called Merry Go Round? Fuck that. We go to death. What the? They should have called that Jason's Going to the Emergency Room because that's what fucking happened to me when I was a kid. Jesus. Kids aren't tough these days. My godson came running down the hallway the other day, screaming and crying. I was like, dude, are you okay? Did you fall? And he goes, my file won't upload. <laughs> Kids aren't tough. I was in Starbucks, saw a 10-year-old kid take a brand new iPad, throw it on the ground in public. The iPad was okay. It was made by a 10-year-old Chinese kid, so it was fine. But this kid in Starbucks yells at his mom in front of adults. He says, Mom, you lied to me. The Wi-Fi in here fucking sucks. The ball's on this kid to say exactly what's on your mind. Oh my God, he's my hero. Every adult in that place was like, yeah, I got the spinning wheel of death here. Fucking, these, the Wi-Fi sucks in here. You're right. My godson was also trying to tell me about his favorite band. He loves the Foo Fighters. You guys like the Foo Fighters? He was trying to school me on the Foo Fighters. He's like, uh, yeah, so uh, Uncle Jay, you know the lead singer of the Foo Fighters? Was also the lead singer of another band called Nirvana. I was like, dude, no, let me school you. We all know Dave Grohl was in Nirvana, but the lead singer of Nirvana was Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. And he goes, well, Uncle Jay, I don't care about that band, Nirvana, because they played back in the 1900s. <sighs> wow. The Titanic? Landing on the moon? Grunge rocks makes it way out of fucking Seattle? This weird place called the 1900s? Does that make you feel old? Oh, man. 
Here's something I figured out in my 40s. This is how I feel old. I used to sneak out of my room to go to parties. And now I sneak out of parties just to get back to my fucking room. <laughs> I used to watch game shows with my grandma. Anybody watch uh, Press Your Luck, Price is Right when you were a kid, Price is Right? You stay home sick, you watch Price is Right. Yeah. Why the fuck were adults so excited about winning an appliance? I couldn't get it. Cash, I get. A refrigerator? What the fuck? But now I'm in my 40s, I'll pause the TV. Is that the brand new LG all-in-one dryer? 27 inch, 5.4 cubic feet of space with Wi-Fi and advanced vibration control to make my money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I've definitely learned about myself in my 40s is that I am really good at an Irish goodbye. Uh -huh. <laughs>